If you're submitting your work out for publication, be sure that you know and have a good grasp of what that publishing company or press or call for submissions is looking for. If they don't, if they say it's 5,000 words, it's 5,000 words. If they say they don't take these genres, don't think that your manuscript is going to be the one to change their minds. All right. <laughs> Just find a home for people that are looking for what you write. Um, one of the things I think that's really important that I didn't know um, when I first started that I think is important for new writers to know is that rejection isn't personal. Yeah. It feels like it, though, um, but it's not. And so, and I struggle with this, too, and I've been doing this for 20, 25 years now. It's not personal. I, you spent a lot of time with your story, your poem, your essay, your opus, your novel. Um, but sometimes the fit just isn't there. And it's not a reflection always on you or the work. It's just that I've already accepted four stories about purple vampires today, and I really don't want a fifth. Um, and so <laughs> there's so many variables that happen with rejection of a story or a submission. It's not you. Don't give up because you got rejected. Don't give up because you didn't get into your favorite press or whatever. I'm still working to get into some of my favorite presses and I've been trying for like 15 years now. Um, the fit just isn't there yet. And so that growth mindset, you have to have that to be a writer. You can't quit. You just don't quit because the next one might be the one. And honestly, that's what keeps me going. I don't have an agent yet, but I'd like to have one. And so I keep submitting because next time might be the time. And I don't want to stop before I reach that goal. Right? And so I encourage you to keep doing that. Keep sending your work out. Keep working on your craft. Keep learning. Keep growing. But don't stop. Don't quit. And the last thing I think is really important is what does success mean to you? Mm -hmm. Because success is, a, is, is like the word good. It's very ambiguous. And it's only defined by the person that's saying it. So for some people, success is a New York Times bestseller. And they only need to do it once and they're good. That's success for them. They've reached it. They're great. But for other people, it's just basically seeing it in print, bound, and you can publish it on Amazon. That's success for them. What's success for you? That's things that will help alleviate a lot of frustration. When you know that this is how I define my success and not let it be defined by other people or what you see on TV or what, or what someone else is doing. What is success for you?